The finish line lay right around the corner. I was going to make it. My teacher had jumped off a long time ago, and now the dog sled was mine to command. I had an irrational fear of dogs. Putting a full sled of them in front of me didn't seem like the best approach in helping me face my fear. But I kept going. I instinctively called out directions to the sled dogs, and to my surprise, they listened. By the time I reached the finish line, my fear was long gone, fading behind in the slush I left in my path. My classmates cheered me on. I felt incredible. It was an amazing moment, a moment that could have only occurred because of Monagasi. Monagasi is a nature program held within a school in Pennsylvania. 50 people are accepted yearly, and the competition get, to get in is fierce. Held in a classroom setting with two primary teachers, you exchange traditional schooling for this alternative education. All the typical curriculum of a classroom is still studied, but with a twist. It's all nature-based. I filled out an application with an essay passionately preaching my love for nature and what I hope to achieve in the class, and waited that summer for the results. Only a lucky few were chosen, and to my surprise, I was accepted. I was in shock. 50 people a year for a program that's only been running for 17 years? That means that less than 1,000 people were able to share this experience with me. In the moment of my acceptance, I didn't see how much of an impact Monagasi would have on my life. But in retrospect, I'm so grateful that I was chosen. When we went sledding, we literally went to an open clearing of snow and had a trainer bring sled dogs and two sets of sleds to us. That dog race was just a small part of what they made the program so enriching. The program teaches you about nature and the importance of conservation, all the while emphasizing studying and staying in school. This dual emphasis is something that doesn't usually happen in a common classroom setting. We went on camping trips, and in between our math classes, we learned how to classify nature tracks, or tracks on a nature path. Not many students can say that they went dog sledding as a part of a team bonding experience, or that they learned how to stay afloat using only a pair of jeans for assistance. If you're curious, all you need is a pair of jeans, a bit of patience, and a body of water. You take those jeans from the bottom and tie them in a double knot. Sling them around your head, and you've created a makeshift life vest. Take the area where the button and zipper meet and pump air until it is fully inflated. Seal that hole, and now you've created a working makeshift life vest. You can stay afloat with this technique for nearly a half an hour to an hour. Now, I tend to always bring a pair of jeans with me, just in case I go near a body of water. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I have, I have a little bit of a cold. <laughs> I learned a lot of things like that. Survival tactics, fun facts. But at the end of the day, that's not what made Monagasi such an important part of my life. Monagasi taught me a lot that year. It gave me the time to breathe through my hectic transition into public school. But most importantly, I experienced the school program like no other. I learned to forge lasting relationships with my classmates, and I developed an openness toward new ideas that I wouldn't have developed on my own. My time in Monagasi may have ended, but its impact on my life will never diminish. <laughs>